Virgin Galactic Investors. Thank you for joining me. By now, of course, you've seen the trailer to this video, and let's get straight into it. In this video, I'm going to answer to you why I'm back off my vacation. In fact, I'm still on my vacation right now, but why I've come back to make this video, why it's so important, and uh, what my position is, where I see the stock going, who I'm talking to, what I'm expecting from the next earnings call, short-term price target, long-term price target, and sentiment. And also, what is a short squeeze? Is this GameStop all over again? Is it? Well, we're going to discuss it on this video, but uh, this will be quite an interesting video, I think. Um, I'm going to share with you some uh, some quite uh, dramatic information. So buckle up, sit tight. If you are a Virgin Galactic investor or you're trying to short the stock and drive it to zero, either way, tap the like button and share it to more people because uh, if uh, you don't agree with what I'm about to say, and you're taking the stock down to zero, then you want to share this and make me look as silly as possible. I don't mind. Uh, but either way, tap the like button and share it out and make sure you do leave your comments below. If you're new to my channel, make sure that you've rung the bell as well, because uh, even though I'm on holiday, I will bring, uh, or vacation as it's in America, I will bring you information if it's really, really important, like today. So this is uh, Virgin Galactic today, 166. Are we about to get a short squeeze? What is a short squeeze? Well, I'm going to share with you my position exactly what I've done today, and you'll be quite, you might be quite surprised to see exactly uh, what I've done today. If you look closely here, you will notice if I zoom in that I've just made quite a significant purchase. In fact, you can see my average now is down at 193. It was 227 this morning. It's now 193. That's quite a dramatic imp improvement because you can now see uh, here $14,919 on Virgin Galactic. I'm down 14% as you can see here, and I was down uh, just over 30% just a few moments ago. So what's going on? Why have I, uh, why have I gone crazy on Virgin Galactic? I had 4,000 shares. I now have 9,000 shares, way over my allocation. Why? What have I heard? What's going on? Well, let's discuss it right now on this video. Have you all liked? Have you all clicked share? Have you all uh, subscribed to the channel? Well, do I think that the stock is going to the moon as often often is uh, talked about? Uh, as you can see, I am here on my uh, in my spacesuit preparing for my own flight. I plan to go to the flight myself. But uh, anyway, that's a way off for now. But there it is. There I am. Anyway, let's have a look and discuss what the difference between this and GameStop is and what do I know and who am I talking to, right? So let's go straight into it. Let's have a quick look. High short interest ratio. Uh, this is important, right? There are a number of different definitions for what the short interest ratio is. It could mean the number of shares uh, shorted for an individual stock as compared to the daily volume, the number of shares shorted for an individual stock as compared to the total public float, or the number of shares shorted on the entire New York Stock Exchange compared to the daily volume of uh, the entire exchange. We have to understand that uh, just because the stock is shorted, how much is it shorted and what does it really mean? Uh, remember, we are not on Reddit. We are not like the GameStop. I say we, it's me really. Uh, it's only me. Um, I'm not trying to achieve what was achieved with Reddit and GameStop. This is not a pump and dump stock uh, company. I uh, I am here sharing with you my trades, my positions, who I'm talking to, what's going on, explaining to you what my uh, trades are ahead of time. Even though that's probably detrimental to my to my performance, I'm here to be honest, not pump the stock. So let's get that straight. This is not a Reddit channel. This is about me building the most honest community on YouTube. But we need to understand what uh, what the short squeeze is and where it's coming from. Regardless, most options traders would agree that if a short interest ratio is defined as the number of days to cover more than 10 days, it's pretty high. Likewise, short interest as a percentage of float above 10% is pretty high and above 20% is extremely high. But how high is extremely high and how does this compare to GameStop and is it GameStop all over again? Well, we're going to cover that now. 
These high ratios may indicate that a company is in trouble. If so, you may want to join the crowd and go short. Or if you think there's a good reason for this, um, uh, you, you may want to go long to take advantage of the coming short squeeze. Okay. Let's move over for a minute. Definitions vary, however, but a short interest is a percentage of flow above 20%. It's extremely high. I'm going to come on to where we are right now and the history of it as well. Also, days to cover. Uh, above 10 indicates extreme pessimism. Okay, let's have a look. What are the limitations of using short interest? We need to be fully aware if we are using this as a way to trade, where are we going with the stock and, and where and what does it does it actually mean? Short there's a lot more to it than you first than you first uh, imagine. Short interest is a useful tool but should not be sole so detriment of uh, of determinants, I beg your pardon, of any investment decision. Do not follow me. What I'm about to tell you now is not right for everyone. Again, I reiterate over and over again, I am not those on Reddit trying to pump and dump the stock. There's a huge army trying to do that. I am not doing that. I'm an investor. And uh, you shouldn't be just looking at this because the short interest is going up and we'll show you how much in a minute. Changes in short interest are even and even extremes may not lead to significant price changes in a timely fashion. This could take a while. This could take a few months. Just want to be fully aware of that. Short squeeze won't happen overnight. When it when it fully kicks in, it will. But it uh, hasn't it hasn't uh, it hasn't started yet. Um, a stock can stay in an extreme reading for long periods or a major price decline. Short interest is published only monthly, but most exchanges so traders are usually slightly outdated. We want to uh, cover that as well because on GameStop, um, the industry uh, and the institutions and the hedge funders learned what uh, the redditors were. Trying trying to do, and that information might not be so forthcoming this time. So don't rely on what the short interest is now. It may be a lot higher than you think or a lot lower. The information is updated monthly. Okay. Let's carry on. So what is a short squeeze? A short squeeze occurs when a high number of short sellers attempt to cut their losses and exit the short positions by purchasing their borrowed shares due to panic about potential losses. Essentially, think of it as a, um, a bottle of champagne. If all the bulls are buying the stock and everything's going up and everyone and then there's a huge interest in betting that the stock is going down rather than lose their money. At some point, they have to buy the stock. If they lose their money, of course, that's not good. They want to buy into stock, which you think of it is like a bottle of champagne. All the bulls are buying it. Now all the shorts are buying Now all the short sellers are buying it as well. It gets squeezed and it pops out the top and the stock can rally three, four, five hundred percent, even a thousand percent very, very quickly. Um, so that's what a short squeeze is. Uh, okay. Anyway, what is short a uh, good short interest? So where are we coming on to Virgin Galactic now? Short interest as a percentage of float below 10% indicates strong positive sentiment. Uh, short interest as a percentage of float above 10% is fairly high, indicating a significant pessimistic sentiment. Short interest as a percentage of float above 20% is extremely high. So where is so where is it right now? Well, before I tell you exactly where we are. Are, um, up to uh, a few years ago, the highest um, shortest stock in history was Tesla. And uh, currently Tesla is running around 3%, even though there's a lot of negativity saying that veg Tesla ha is going to go down before the next earnings. Uh, they're running at about 3%. Again, it's not up to date information. We don't know exactly, but running around three percent. Just to give you an indication, there's a lot, there's a lot of uh, negative sentiment around Tesla right now, and they're at three percent. So where is Virgin Galactic taking into everything else I have said uh, during this information? Is 20% a high short interest? Yes, short interest as a percentage of flow above 20% is considered high, and it indicates a very pessimistic sentiment. However. On the markets right now, we've got FFIE, like number five of the top list shorted stock on the market right now, and they're running around about 40%, 47%, okay, which compares to, I'll come on to Virgin Galactic in a second, uh, and there's no short squeeze imminent there. A short squeeze doesn't just come because everyone shorts the stock, because ultimately, if everyone just shorts the stock and no one buys it and there's no good news, it goes to zero. However, 
If we get to the edge of the volcano and everyone's shorting the stock and some and some big buyers come in, which is what I'm coming on to in a second, why I've just bought more, uh, then you've got uh, the, expl the potential for an explosion plus good news. Now, good news is around the corner. We're coming on to that. The bottom line, short interest indicates how many shares of a company a company sold short and not yet covered. Short interest is often expressed as a number, yet it is more telling as a percentage. An increase in short interest over often signals that investors have become more bearish, while a decrease in short interest shows up they have become more bullish. Short interest can be used as an indicator of market sentiment for a company's stock on the market as a whole, and some investors use this as an indication that might be profitable to short that company's stock. Okay. Well, here's Virgin Galactic. Where are we now? Well, this is quite up to date. This is October the 11th. Today, where are we now? 22.8%. Is that high? Yes. Is that extremely high? Yes. Is it as high as GameStop, however, before GameStop exploded? No. Nowhere near. And we need to explain why. Just before GameStop exploded, we were around the 100%. We moved to 140%. And if you're wondering how you can possibly short more than 100% of the stocks, easy, because the short sellers lend out their stocks, lend out their stocks, lend out their stocks. They're lent over and over again. So that, that number is actually infinitesimal. Um, so compared to, sh uh, to GameStop, we are actually nowhere near. Is that a bad thing? Is that a good thing? Does that mean Virgin Galactic isn't going to short squeeze because we're nowhere near? Well, there's a few things that need to happen. First of all, there is the time when the, the contracts expire. There is also to cover the to, to cover the positions. There's also how much is shorted. But most importantly, most importantly, who is about to buy to start the bull rolling? What good news is there that the bulls will suddenly start buying more and then everybody gets short squeezed, okay? It's not going to happen if they just keep shorting it and no one buys it. Nothing's going to happen. What is going to happen, however, is the stock will go to zero. But what is important, why I have just doubled my position, is who's buying, why are they buying, and what is around the corner? Well, as you can see, we've got 22.8%. That is that is large. That is large, but not the largest and doesn't mean to say it is imminent. We have to have patience with this. But nevertheless, it is a very large, extremely high number, just not as high as it can be. Okay. What is, however, very important is despite um, some very um, good news around the stock I'm about to share with you, we've got negative sentiment is up. 0.16%. If you can see that, I don't know if you can see that, 0.16% up this month. So we've had a huge uh, increase on short uh, interest. And that doesn't mean to say it's about to uh, pop. Uh, we need to be just clear about that. This is, again, not a Reddit channel pumping and dumping. I just want to give you the best information uh, with what I'm doing with my money as well. Um, and what I'm going to do with my money when it goes up as well. Um, but that is a huge increase, a huge increase this month, up 16%. Okay. Uh, as you can see there, uh, how it's increased 16.3%. If you compare it to other months, the movement 4%, 5%, 2%, 3.5%, you get the indication of how high this actually is. So that's a little bit about what a short squeeze is, where it's likely to go, and what it actually means. Now, we want to compare this just a second to GameStop and uh, what happened there. With GameStop, just before uh, the whole GameStop thing exploded, there was a couple of catalysts. First of all, the shorts were a lot greater than they are today, uh, number one. But that isn't the prime reason. The prime reason was, as we all know, uh, a, a new board member was appointed who was regarded as being extremely bullish for the stock. Great success in his history. That was a, a positive catalyst. And then others started to buy the stock. A lot of people online started to buy the stock. Now, I know we've got a large community, the largest collection of the highest retail investors in the world. So that's quite good. That's quite, you know, quite bullish, I guess. However, They've all got to buy in. And as you know, I'm speaking to the top investors in the world, retail investors, and I sent this morning a message to Andy Shovel. Andy Shovel, as you know, met the finance, um, the um, retail uh, investor, sorry, the, the investor's um, 
uh, what was it? What was his name? I forgot his name now. The uh, the investor uh, uh, public relations manager. I beg your pardon. Um, and he met him, and we put our petition, which is going to Michael Cole Glazier, about the, um, the what we propose as the price cuts for the next earnings. Now, what we know from that meeting is they had a successful meeting, and uh, we know that they hinted to us that they are looking at uh, un- they understand that situation, and they are hinting that they're going to announce some price cuts. Now, with the amount of short interest that we have right now, with the amount of uh, good news coming from Virgin Galactic, we are flying regularly. And uh, I believe with what we have achieved through our petition, we're going to get good news on the next earnings. With that, and with the knowledge that I am talking to the biggest investors who can buy 100, 200, 300, 400, 500,000 shares like that, that is all we need to take us over the volcano and open the volcano up. So, because of all these things taken into consideration, I am extremely bullish on Virgin Galactic. Now, what am I going to do with it? Well, as you can see, I am up from where I bought it this morning uh, quite considerably. If we look at my position, you can see I was down uh, like 30, 31%, something like that. I'm down just 13% now. Now, It's very important for me to say again, this is not a pump and dump channel. I I am not going to do what happened on Reddit. I'm not going to disappear from from doing my videos once I've made a million bucks. That's not going to happen. The most important thing for me is being known as the most honest person on YouTube TV. However, because of that, I am going to tell you exactly what I'm going to do. I have a target of $200,000 in my portfolio. From then, as I am already, moving into more dividend stocks. This this uh, last couple of days, I bought about eighteen thousand dollars of Coca Cola. I'm aiming for a thousand dollars a year on dividends without ever selling the stock. Ultimately, driving a position which will pay me uh, an, uh, a decent income without ever selling the stock. And because we're over uh, we're oversold on it, I've been buying more. So my portfolio is moving into a more into a more. Um, uh, a, a more dividend stock as time goes by. So I am not trying to be the richest man in the world, beat the market, time the market, or any of those things. What I'm trying to do is build the most honest channel on YouTube TV and hit my targets, make some money, and everybody make money with me. So this is what I'm doing. Today, I've uh, more than doubled my position, more than doubled it, and drove my portfolio from 30 odd plus percent down to 13%. I still need to risk manage though. So what I expect in the very short near term, it could happen today, more than likely after hours on Thursday, which is tomorrow at the making of this video. It, it, It could happen very, very quickly that in the next few days, even perhaps after hours tonight, this stock could reach 180, 190. Uh, And if it does that, I can sell back the stocks I bought this morning um, and just reduce my position, even though I believe a short squeeze is coming. uh, But I I need to risk manage my portfolio. There's no point uh, going over you know, ahead of myself. Um, you know, I, you know, I'm not in the position just to keep buying the stock. So I will trim it back expecting another drop because I think we'll get another drop. I said 150 is the bottom. Still believe that. We'll get another drop with the profits I make today or the, tomorrow, next few days. And then I'll be able to buy back and then I'll be at 150, 160 at zero. I won't be down 13% as I am now. And then when we short squeeze, which I believe we will, uh, at that point, then I'll be making money all the way up and I'll be trimming some off the top. I won't ever reach $100 a share as I predict it will go to because I'll be trimming off along the way. That's just responsible. That isn't uh, trying to get rich and then run away and never be seen again. That is a responsible way to invest, I believe. And then our profits will go massively into Coca-Cola. And uh, I will very soon, I'm already up to about $800 a month, a year now on my Coca-Cola uh, in, 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 in dividends. So that's that's my target to achieve that. So that's what I'm doing. Now, having spoken to uh, other investors, the world's largest investors, they're all doing the same. So I... Uh, um, do see that we're going to get a short squeeze. I do see very, very quickly we're going to go above $2. Once we get to $2.10, that's when the short squeeze will kick in um, and uh, we'll see it rise to $10. So why would I sell it at $190, $195, Because uh, it manages my portfolio because uh, I want to be at this level 
uh, w- w- without being down at all. I want to be at 150, 160 and be flat. Um, so I'm at the bottom, not down at all. And anything up from there is profit. That's my that's my aim. That's what I'm doing. So if uh, if you agree with me or don't, please do tap the like button, share the video out. If, you, if you're not yet subscribed, click above my head for more information that will bring you. Uh, if anything comes out, it'll be over there or over here and down here. I am currently on vacation, so I'm going to get back to my holiday. But uh, I hope this helps and I hope you now understand exactly what I'm doing. Go to my Twitter above my head there, at my ex account and leave uh, your comments to this video. Till next time, as always, take care of your money, yourselves, your crypto, and most importantly, take care of each other. And our love goes to all of those, all of those affected by what's happening in the Middle East right now. That's more important than anything else. Till next time, take care of yourselves. Bye-bye for now.